gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm crying. Hey Hans, it's the Grapevine. How are you? I hope you're having a good week. If you're new to my channel, I usually react to Degrassi episodes. And today, I am reacting to Season 3, Episode 2, Father Figure, Part 2. Now, I would have done this last week with Part 1 because that's the way I like to do it. Have both parts in the same video. But due to unforeseen circumstances... I mean, I had it like a week before I recorded the video, so it's not really unforeseen. I had COVID. Um, I'm COVID free now, so yay! Yeah, so now I can do videos without feeling like I am going to die, literally. This episode is just a continuation of part one, obviously. Emma just met her biological father, Shane McKay. He is in a mental institution and obviously she's shocked about it and for the very very important subplot Spinner is still trying to find Paige the perfect locker so yes let's just get into the episode oh do you like my earrings they're little pumpkins aren't they so cute <laughs> I love them. It is October, so it's officially Halloween month. Um, I got my Friday the 13th shirt on as well. Like, I am in the Halloween spirit. I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday of all holidays. Okay? All right. Now, let's just get into the episode. But you were supposed to be a doctor, not a patient. This was such a mistake. Don't oh, don't say that in front of him. That's rude. She's my daughter. Aww. But she doesn't love me. Oh my god! She never comes to visit me. She doesn't care about me. Maybe she couldn't find you. No, but Emma's just little. She... I swear, if I cry in this episode... You're Emma. Yeah, that's Emma. Oh, come on. Don't be sad. Everything's okay. Your daddy's here now. Daddy's here. It hasn't even been two minutes. And I am already tearing up. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh my god. When he said Daddy's here, I, I I can't. I can't. He loves his daughter so much. Oh my god. Still mad because I stole your stupid MP3 player? No, it's ancient history. So why is he mad? Just bury the hammer. Fine, is that it? I kind of need your locker. Do you need my locker? Paige does. I First of all, he's not over it, obviously. Um, I mean, who would be? Your best friend steals something from you? You just get over it? Like, no, I get that. Um, I just don't, I don't think he is ever going to trust Spinner again after this. They're never going to be as close as they were before this incident happened. And that's so sad because they had such a cute friendship. Maybe cute isn't the right word. Gross close close they had a very close friendship you know what admit it and the lock is yours okay i have no backbone no -uh. no not good enough you need to tell everybody publicly he is petty uh, oh my god i mean i respect it how long have you been here about since i fell and hit my head so did he fall or did he accidentally or on purpose jump I mean I don't know we'll never know because it's like trapped inside his head and he probably doesn't even know anymore just who do you think you are just barging in here that's his daughter but you can't surprise him like that 
He suffered a traumatic brain injury, so he has certain routines that he needs to stick to. Okay, first of all, how did a 13-year-old sneak into a mental patient's room? How? Where is the security? Where is it? Obviously, it's lacking. I'm gonna write you, and you can write me too, okay? And I'm gonna visit again, soon. She never visits again. Promise? I promise. I wish I knew how to knit. I tried to learn, but it just, it never clicked for me. It never clicked for me. Bitch, what the fuck? Craig, my father is brain damaged. Well, at least you have a dad. Last time I checked, you had two. Okay, hold on a second. I know that you're counting Snake as one of her dads. So why aren't you counting Joey as one of your dads? Is it because Snake and Spike are married? I mean, Joey was married to your mom, so... I'm saying all this because don't you ever disrespect Joey like that again. He is your dad. He loves you. He is taking care of you. You have a father. Okay. Sorry, you just missed the last train. No more till morning. Nothing? No. Stoville? What on earth is in Stoville? My dad. Wasn't Joey friends with Shane? Or am I making that up? I haven't watched the classic series in a while. You found Shane right where you left him? In that prison in Stoville? How could you? I didn't put him there. Okay, his, his parents, parents did. left you him there. You didn't stop them? She was, was 14. 16. 16. She was 16. Emma, sit. You don't talk to me like that. You're not my dad. Okay. Ugh. Emma just met Shane like five minutes ago. And now I, I am just speechless. I don't even know what to say. Shane is no more your dad than I am. He hasn't taken care of you a day in his life. He's not your, he's your dad, but he's not your dad. You know what I'm saying. Snake is more of a dad to Emma than Shane will ever be, unfortunately. Whatever, I don't, oh, whatever. I have no backbone. <laughs> I'm whipped, I'm totally spineless, my girlfriend completely runs my life, okay? Okay, alright, so... He's whipped, he admits it. <laughs> He's Anyone whipped, else? he admits it. <laughs> the extras are so great. I don't know how I feel about them connecting Shane and Spike with this knitting thing. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Because I feel like they didn't really have a lot in common when they were in junior high. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it make sense in my head. I feel like they had a reason for it. One night he took acid and he jumped off a bridge. Bridge? Oh, I've been saying knows. building this whole time. Bridge. Not like it matters. She took you to visit him once. I am a... I am a... I am a... Isn't it so weird how the mind works? How you remember one thing, but then someone tells you how it really happened, but you don't remember it that way. I mean, especially as a kid, I don't know, it makes you think. Like, the things you remember as an adult, did that really happen when you were a kid? Or is your mind just fucking with you? She was waiting until you got older, and, and maybe, maybe that was wrong. Just call her, okay? She's such a good dad. When did you marry Snake? Last year. You didn't tell me. No, I didn't have to. Okay, Christine. Yeah, you're back to Christine. I know... I know she may be scared. But, like, he obviously has mental problems. Like, he's mentally disabled. You don't have to have an attitude. 
I don't know why she's so annoyed with him so easily and so fast. I have no room to judge. I mean, they have their history, but I'm just saying he's not the same Shane he was, you know, back in the day. This could be ours. Oh, mm, boundaries, boundaries. And I doubt that. Ooh. You're not calling anyone. Not them editing this like a horror movie. <sighs> no! No! Leave me alone, Spinner. Oh, we we'll back in the ghetto. You. So what, so you can you call me a shrew or some You know what? I have no idea how to please you. You tell me to work a miracle, then you're mad at me for doing it. What? Why are they spinning around like this? You know, he has a point. And you know I don't like agreeing with Spinner, but, you know, she did make a big deal out of a locker that she is living in. <laughs> you liar! Oh! oh. Could you lie to me again? Oh, Shane, don't hurt the baby. Ball. Or Christine. Oh. Mom, what's happened? Shane? Oh, now it's Shane. I thought that was your dad. What? She's my mom? And if you hurt her, I will never, ever speak to you again. And she didn't. She always keeps her promises. Oh. God, I feel so bad for him. Take mom's knitting. You like to- Oh, now I get it. This is a plot device. <laughs> That's why they did that. I have Emma Nelson online too. She's looking for Mr. Simpson. She's so pretty. Her skin's flawless. Uh, Emma, we're gonna get him now. Aren't they wondering why she's not at school when she was this morning? I don't need the perfect locker. Really? Yeah, then why? Because half this episode was about you freaking out over a locker. Because you're homeless, apparently. Poor, lonely, jealous James. If only he had someone to kiss. As if. That's why you like really, Alicia? As if? As if. Bruh. And it's time for you to get fired. How did he get out? What did I say about security? Bye bye, Emma. Bye. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm crying. Oh, look at the chunky baby. You know what, Jack? You look just like our dad. I got chills. I got chills. Oh, I live for that. Okay, that's the end of the episode. Oh, I can't believe I cried. Oh my god. Oh, I've never cried uh, with that episode before. And of course, I cry now that I'm on camera. <sighs> this is not the last time I'm gonna cry this season. I can tell you that right now. So get ready. Yeah, it kind of sucks that Emma never visits him again, or at least we don't see it, so she doesn't visit him again. Let's be real. And we never see Shane again. Nobody talks about him. Like, his name doesn't even get mentioned after this. The actor who plays him, his name is right there. It's Jonathan Torrens. He's so good. He's so good. Like, even though I would have loved to see the original Shane come back, Jonathan did a very, very good job. And I would have loved to have seen him again. Like, whatever. Whatever. I don't get what I want. It doesn't even matter. I really like this episode. It is a standout episode of the season. Jack is born. Little Jack. Also, this is the episode where we see Liz for the last time. So, this episode is just so special. It's just like, 
Yes. Before I end this video, I want to take some time out to promote myself. I am back to selling jewelry. I am doing Degrassi, Lady Gaga, Clueless. I'm doing Pride. Like, just anything and everything. I take requests. I will be posting pictures right now in this video of all the stuff that I have done already. But you can tell me what you want the bracelet or earrings, even a necklace to say, what beads you want, like I can do it all. Okay, you can DM me either on Instagram or Twitter. My socials will be at the end of this video. It will also be in the description box. So yes. Also, DM me for the prices. Most of the bracelets are $10. The earrings are $5. All right, promo over. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye! There's a fucking fly here, and I... They're attracted to lights, and I'm surrounded by lights. God damn it. You're ruining my shot.